Welcome back. Let's talk about expressions to really make our characters tell a story. So expressions are much like pauses. They can be applied with a uh, one click to our figures, much like we apply pauses, but under the hood, they're often dials that can be dialed in more or less. I don't have time to cover it in this video, but that is covered in two other series that I'm going to link to at the end of this, just so that you know where those are. This particular product, the classic rock poses, come with expressions and they have their separate section under poses. We have expressions here. Now, this product is made for three different figure generations. Genesis 9 is the latest one as I'm recording the video, but there have been figure generations before and poses and expressions are not compatible from one figure generation to the next without some serious conversion work. So just because they're all mixed together here, I'm going to go and search for anything that pertains to G9. You see this here, we have something that's for G8.1, something that's made for G9, and something that's made for G3. So if I just want to filter this out, I can type in G9 up here. And that means we have six expressions that will be available for Genesis 9. I'm going to go and try them out just by clicking on the Genesis figure. And then I'll just go and double click one expression. See if that tickles my fancy. Oh, yeah, that's very much in the moment. There's another one here. And if you find that is not exaggerated enough or too exaggerated, there is an option to make that happen under the hood. That is where the parameters tab comes in. So I'm thinking, <laughs> that is quite nice. He's thinking, what's going on? Maybe that is a good expression here. Let's leave that, or, or maybe or maybe that. I can't decide. Or maybe this one. It's rocking on stage here. This is, this is good. Excellent. So um, one thing we haven't talked about is hair. Hair is a bit like a wardrobe item. It just fits onto the figure. I think Themor looks great without hair, but just in case you think you should have hair, let's go out one step here and pick the hair category. That's this one here. And that'll show you all the hair products that you have. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe the bus cut, maybe an afro. These are for women. So you can put a woman's hair on a man and vice versa. That is totally possible. There's also beards and eyebrows. That's also classed as hair. So if you find you want to change that, you can do that. Maybe the Marty Mane. That was made for Michael, I believe, but Themor can wear it because everyone in Genesis 9 can wear everyone's hair and everyone's clothing. There we go. That doesn't look bad at all. Let's see, maybe blonde isn't quite his style. Uh, if we wanted to change the hair color, no problem. Over on materials, we have several options here, perhaps. Let's go and pick one. These are regular materials, as I can see here. So I can go and right click on the hair and just make sure you select the hair. You can also select it directly from the seam tab. Either option will work. And perhaps we're going to try him with a bit of a darker mane here. Not bad. How about something like a brown? Also not bad. Uh, notice this is going to look very different in the final render to which we're going to come in the moment. Or maybe we're going to go on with something like a bit red. <laughs> so in the final render or in the texture shaded view, you won't be able to see the transparency that we see here. So this is texture shaded. So that looks, looks very, very different. If your viewport looks like that, don't worry about it. This is just a preview. This is just a preview. I'm going to go back to filament here and I'll say I'll call this one good. Catch up with me, put an expression on your character, put a nice lock of hair on your character and meet me in the next section.